Welcome to Geographical Analysis Lecture 18 on Goodness of Fit. So far in this class we've gone over several different tests for measuring differences between means. In this case we are going to be introducing a new test where on the one hand when we're dealing with goodness of fit we'll be testing to see if nominally or ordinally measured variables have a distribution that matches some um, null hypothesis about how that variable should be distributed. We're also going to use the chi-squared test uh, in order to do contingency analysis or to see whether or not two nominally or ordinally va measured variables have a relationship with one another. First we'll start with uh, goodness of fit which tests whether an observed frequency distribution matches with an expected frequency distribution. Later in the class we'll go over contingency analysis which is a test for association between two nominal or ordinal variables. The reason why we're going to cover these two seemingly very different tests at the same time is they both rely on a chi-squared statistic. This statistic over here is a chi-squared spelled C-H-I. So goodness of fit tests are very versatile but we're only going to focus on three potential uses, uses for a goodness of fit. First we're going to de develop a test to see if an empirical distribution is evenly distributed. Next we'll look at the case where the empirical distribution could be unevenly distributed. And finally we're going to develop a test to see if an empirical distribution is normally distributed. Generally speaking, the chi-squared statistic is used to compare an observed frequency distribution to an expected frequency distribution. The expected distribution, in this case, is what we would expect to see if the null hypothesis is true. So the null hypothesis for a chi-squared goodness of fit test is that the data that we've collected, the sample that we've collected, are consistent with a specified distribution. In other words, there should be no difference between the observed distribution and the expected distribution. The alternative hypothesis is that the data are not consistent with a specified distribution. So there is some significant difference between an observed distribution and expected counts of that distribution. The test is very easy to compute. The data are grouped into k different categories. Remember that this is a categorical variable, so k is just the number of categories we have. O sub i is the observed frequency in each category, and E sub i is the expected frequency in each category. Here the expected is the number of observations we would expect to see in the category if the null hypothesis about the empirical distribution is true. Once we've computed the chi-squared statistic, which as you can see is a very easy summation, we can assume that the statistic is distributed with a chi-squared probability distribution, which is just another proper, uh, probability distribution like the ones we've seen. So far we've seen normal distributions, T distributions, and F distributions. Now we're introducing a new one called the chi-squared. The chi-squared depends on one, uh, one parameter, the degrees of freedom, and in the case where we're testing uh, when we're using it for a goodness of fit test, the chi-square distribution is going to have k minus 1 degrees of freedom, where k is the number of groups we have, or the number of categories we have.